an in-depth installation of Jean-Michel Basquiat, opening May 26, 2021, features all 13 works by the artist in the broad collection, including three works on view for the first time. Jean-Michel Basquiat moved from graffiti artist to downtown punk scenester to celebrity art star in only the few short years of his career. This vertiginous rise took him from sleeping on the streets of New York City to being befriended by Andy Warhol and entering into the elite American art world as one of the most celebrated painters of the neo-expressionism art movement. Whilst Basquiat died at only 27 of a heroin overdose, he has now become indelibly associated with the surge in interest in downtown artists in New York during the 1980s. What's the scariest painting in art history? There are some strong contenders, like The Judgment of Cambyses by Gerard David, Hieronymus Bosch's Rendering of Hell, Henry Fuseli's Nightmare, and Edvard Munch's The Scream. But there's only ever really been one painting that has seriously disturbed me. This one. Francisco Goya's Saturn Devouring His Son. What you're seeing here is the legendary Spanish painter's depiction of the Greek titan Cronus, who after usurping power from his father, was told a prophecy that one of his own sons would do the same, and usurp him. In order to prevent this, every time his queen Rhea bore a child, Cronus would eat it. Unfortunately for him, in the end Rhea conspired to hide away their youngest son, Zeus, who eventually fulfilled the prophecy, exiled his father, and ended the reign of the titans. These strokes of genius belong to 21-year-old black Brooklynite Jean-Michel Basquiat, one of America's most charismatic painters and currently its highest sold. Born in 1960 to a Haitian father and a Puerto Rican mother, Basquiat spent his childhood making art and mischief in Borough Hill. While he never attended art school, he learned by wandering through New York galleries and listening to the music his father played at home. He drew inspiration from unexpected places, scribbling his own versions of cartoons, comic books, and biblical scenes on scrap paper from his father's office. 